other day he said to me something about, well, I heard it's a bad movie. I go, what's the difference? <laughs> All you see are bad movies. He paid to see Faye and the sister. Who? who what? Yeah. Remember when Tina Faye made the movie with oh, the sister? God, what? I put that on the plane. I almost shot the pilot. <laughs> Why would you go there? Because that? this is what I got to <laughs> deal with. He went to see Bad Santa too. <laughs> even the double, even the couple, he was going to go double date with canceled on his ass two times. <laughs> and that wasn't enough. He still went to see fucking Bad Santa. Oh my he God. is a glutton for punishment and for no reason. For no reason. He goes to Long Beach for New Year's. Okay, that was our... Who goes to Long Beach for God. New Year's? And he rents a fucking HMO apartment. One of the, what do you call that a, shit? A gay apartment. You Airbnb. Know, Airbnb. God, he, last time he rented an Airbnb, he got rid, ringworm on his head. And God knows what else. <laughs> okay, I'm he convinced goes, that you just to, go to places he, and leave stuff that's going to give me a sty around the hotel Beach. room. The he comes home just early. Fun. I don't care what you say. The about pizza Beach. was terrible. They were both sick. This never ends. If he was just do what he's supposed to do, life would be so much easier for him. But he goes around it fucking two miles away. And we all do that when we're in our 20s. That's what we sweep in our 30s, cleaning up the bullshit mm -hmm. we laid in our 20s. Not telling the chick what, the really, what we really like. You know, you tell your girlfriend, I'm a regular guy. But meanwhile, you're out with Chinese chicks getting your balls lit on fire with firecrackers. And then one day you cheat on her, you get caught because you didn't tell her. You like to put it up her ass and come on eyeballs. Mm -hmm. You played that fucking I'm a nice guy game. Every mistake we make in our 20s killed me in my 30s. But he keeps doing them. It's like a fucking, he brought his father out here. Got his father's stomach sick. He took him for lizard tacos. It's well known around the corner. That they have lizard meat, that taco. Why Nobody goes there. It, the rating is even L. Like when you go to the rating, it's L. <laughs> I told him this 18 times. You think he listens? No. He takes his dad there. Next thing you know, his dad's in the hospital oh my eating gosh. fucking mints. Does he have tongue meat? <laughs> Does he have tongue meat? No, he doesn't have. I, you have no idea what my life is surrounded by. This is one part. This is one aspect of it. Bad Santa too will make your brain try to it escape was, out of your tongue. When he told me the couple canceled, I was so happy for him. I go, he'll, he'll, that's it. Then he made plans to go back, and they canceled again. And then he said, "Fuck it, I'm still gonna go." They walked out at the ten minute mark. Like he goes to see a movie about a dog. He went to see Fences. He, nothing, nothing. I mean, this right. kid is the kiss of death. I'll take, I'll take the dog all the way around. I'll, the take, I'll take a beating if I if I deserve it. Fences, first of all, has Fences. like a hundred percent on it, Rotten Tomatoes. It's, it has and it has Denzel. You didn't like it. I hated it. No, that's what I'm saying. That's how bad Rotten Tomatoes is. It's all paid. You know, Rotten Tomatoes is owned by like Warner Brothers. I don't doubt it. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah, They're, it's owned by one of the biggest production companies. I don't know if it's Warner Brothers or Paramount, but they own it. So do you think the movie they just spent a hundred million dollars on, if it's a bad movie, they're going to let the, the the let it get to a certain lower rating on Rotten Tomatoes? No, because that's millions and millions of dollars. That'd be the dumbest thing for them ever to do. So what they do is they pick and choose which ones they have as their top fresh critics. You know, so like if this critic says "fuck," this is the worst movie ever, they'll just like replace him with somebody from the New York Post that liked it. You know, so it's like it's all bullshit. You can't trust that. And that, who even knows what Fences is? I've never even heard of Fences. It was a play. I had no, I had no movie. idea. I just went for Fiona Denzel. Davis. God, and, Listen, she, and she won the Oscar for I that, by the way. Something. If Denzel ain't got a gun, don't bother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If, Den if Denzel don't got a gun, don't waste your time. The one with the plane is all right. You know, Passenger 50 something. <coughs> no, no he flight. Was, he was a drunk. That was, a, that was a good one. I that like that one. one. You know, nah, he's made great movies, but the last 10 years, if you don't have a gun, don't waste your time. <laughs> yeah. I tried to watch La La Land, man. I turned that thing off uh, like I turned 10 them, minutes. I turned them all off. I turned them How, all off. If I came in here and said I watched La La Land, you'd still be talking about it. What? Because I'd expect it from you. This is something that you would do. You would do this. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm not angry at you. I just, I know what you're watching. I tried to watch that, whatever, Bayonne by the Sea. I've never Whatever even heard of that. Paid by the oh, Babe, oh, uh, fuck. first twenty minutes. The Affleck so, movie. The Affleck movie was so. I get all the burners from, from right. Screen Actors Guild. My wife, my, my, I think my wife said the best movie she saw was the, the two black chicks that were engineers at NASA. Well, that looked good. I haven't seen it, but it looked good. Yeah, that like that. She liked that. And my wife is fucking plain Jane, so 
I kind of listen to it, but she chops through the bullshit real quick, too. She'll Your wife's a pimp, man. I hung out with her the other day. She's yeah. a badass. I yeah. forgot how yeah. badass she is. She's fucking, <laughs> and now with the baby, she's even more badass. Yeah. Like now, like the movie, she used to give a half hour to it. Now she gives them 10 minutes. Like, damn, bam. I got one hour to fucking watch a movie. I got no time to waste on shit. Speaking of movies, you sent me this crazy clip that... Ha- fucked my world up i think it was friday night oh me and the baby no well, well that, that but oh. no the uh with uh what's his name with the the Robert Robert russian it. roulette yeah oh my god now you had never seen that no and I mean, you have time to watch parks and rec two or three times <laughs> and you got time to watch red is the purple orange or whatever the fuck you watch Red is the purple orange. whatever the fuck you watch you got time to watch all this stupidity but i sent you that movie and it almost blew your fucking brains i didn't it and I was sitting at twelve thirty, stone to the gills, <laughs> loving it. I was just going from scene to scene, just listening to music, writing jokes, and I saw that scene, and my head blew up. And I thought you were professional, and you had seen it. Have you ever seen that movie? Which what, what movie? Deer Hunter. Yeah, yeah, long time ago. But with the, when they, he goes to get his yeah. best friend, I saw it in the eighties. In the eighties, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He goes back to get uh, Christopher Walken yeah. and playing at the table. Mm-hmm. And when the guy smacks him and he smacks him back, your fucking heart stops. The look on De Niro's face, like staring him down, like, head, motherfucker. And he's telling him, I'm going to fucking kill you. I'm going to fucking kill you. And then when he's playing the gun, he keeps saying something to him to let him know that they're going to shoot everybody in that motherfucker. It's crazy. That's Those were movies were movies. Deliverance. That's a movie. That's another movie. Fucking, too. I just rewatched that the other day. I haven't watched that in about ten years because it scares the shit out of me. It scares the shit out of me. I'm too. not gonna lie, to nobody at home. It scares <laughs> the shit out of me, dog. That movie makes me think like uh, I'm really in danger. I know. Like, like if you watch people it by are your, walking by me that are like yeah, that. yeah. Like if you watch Deliverance by yourself, you really start to think you're in danger. Like yeah. it really, it does something to your mind. It's yeah. kind of like Pulp Fiction when they bring out the gimp and they, you know, under, they go underneath, the, the store owners like take them underneath. It's like that, the, you know, that those people are out there, you know, working at this chicken place, you know, and that Lee likes to go to, that they'll just take you and put you in the back room. Now you know why I like going there. 